Hey everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. I wanted to provide you just a very brief market update of what we're seeing in the local real estate market. And I'm going to make some bold predictions too about where I think that the market is heading in the months to come in the next year. Now, take everything I say with a grain of salt. I've been wrong before, but there's some really interesting data that I'm going to go over that I think is going to be highly valuable for you. Now, just a uh, I think it was about a month ago, I, did, I get together with some of the other top real estate agents in our area, and we couldn't actually decide on what the market was doing. There was some data showing that the values were still rising. There was some data showing that the market was dropping. But I think right now there's some clear indicators of what is going on in the market. And I've just got InfoSparks pulled up here, and I'm just going to look at this and move my face. Uh, we're looking at just Whatcom County, Bellingham, and the entire MLS. I could pull in some additional areas, but I think it would sort of muck up the data here but i think the biggest thing i want to show you and we're looking at median sales price here and if we look back we see the last three years we see the market rose pandemic went crazy and then we saw it peaked we saw it peak in the entire mls which covers all of washington state in um may of 22. in the same time that was also whatcom county we saw the highest medium sales price in whatcom county 598 500. Bellingham continued for another month and rose to its highest peak in June of 2022. And then we can see kind of what's happened since. There's been, um, the values have come down. The median sales price has come down a bit. Now, year over year, if we look at September of uh, 2022, Whatcom County from this month, it was kind of a lower month for Whatcom County, it's actually risen four and a half percent, whereas in Bellingham, it's down 11.2 percent. This is from year over year on the month of September. And so data can be a little misleading, but if we look at the entire MLS, if we look at Whatcom County and we look at Bellingham, and we can kind of see that the median sales price has come down. And obviously, unless you've lived under a rock, you recognize that, OK, inflation got completely out of control. We're not going to talk about the reasons for that. But we will say that as a result of that, the Federal Reserve uh, decided to increase the federal funds rate to stifle spending. And they did that and they increased the federal funds rate. The cost of borrowing becomes much more expensive. And we're seeing the result of that. And so as a result, the, um, the, the demand for housing has dropped dramatically. And so this isn't because home buyers or p potential home buyers don't want to purchase the largest demographic in our country right now are people aged 30 to 33 who don't want to rent, who want to start having families, who want to own a home. However, I found this, this, is, this statistic here really, really interesting. And this is the home price to income ratio. Um, and this is, I'm going to move this here. This is in the U.S., the home price to medium household income ratio and it goes back to all the way back to 19 what 47 46 and so really this is showing the affordability index here of how homes became um how how they were affordable to the price of the home versus the, uh, the household income and we can see it is the highest it has ever been since we've been recording this data so what that really means it is the most unaffordable time in the history of our country to purchase a home because values are still pretty darn high and the cost to borrow money is very very high based on the medium household income so as a result of that what do you think is happening well the demand for mortgage applications is dropping dramatically it's the lowest it's been actually since 1995. Um, so the 10 year treasury yield is another really interesting thing to look at because a lot of sharks are, are, are calling me, I say sharks, I say investors, which I should say, are giving me a call or, or, or texting, calling and saying, Hey, you know, what about this house? Do you think I could offer 50% of the market value? I've got cash, right? I've got cash. Uh, let's pay pennies on the dollar. And, <clears throat> and the reason that... <clears throat> This is happening is because a lot of these investors they bought they, they did pretty well back in 2010 11 12 when the market had crashed from our 2008 real estate driven recession but the 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 difference between now and 2008 is 
For one, uh, homeowners still have a ton of equity. The other thing, unemployment rate is still very, very low. You know, the, the Fed, I think, is, is what ideally like to see that rise a little bit, that which would cause inflation to go down. But the, un, but the unemployment rate is still pretty low. Um, and also you've got, you've got the, um, the mortgage underwriters have become much more stringent, uh, since the 2008 crash to qualify buyers. So I think it's less likely that we're going to see a 2008, uh, real estate driven recession where, where the real estate market just dives. However, we very could, will see something that happened. And this is showing the, the bond market, the bond uh, treasury yield rate. And we look at back into 1980 and how high that got. So we're seeing the bond rate rise, bond rates rise, real estate market drop. Those two are somewhat are often inverted. And so what we're seeing here is more closely related to a 1980 than a 2008, where the Fed did the same thing. Inflation got out of control. They tamped down on consumer spending by right by, by increasing the federal funds rate and the mortgage uh, rates. Um, sorry, the mortgage demand dropped, and as a result of that, the values did come down until about 1983. So, what does that mean? Well, it's very likely that we could see values continue to fall into 2024. Now, the Federal Reserve has indicated that they are not planning on dropping rates. Now, they've been a little bit vague about it, but it is likely that we are not going to see this massive rebound in uh, values in 2024. Now, I could be wrong. I, I, I certainly could be wrong. But my guess is we will see a 5 to 10% drop in market values in the coming year. That doesn't mean that there won't be sales. There's still going to be opportunities for buyers and for sellers in any real estate market. Don't get me wrong. However, I do think values are going to come down. It's not going to be a bloodbath like we saw in 2008. But I would also bet that mortgage rates don't drop significantly as as significantly as other people are suggesting. People are saying they're going to hit 6% or 6.5% 6 in 2024. I doubt that is the case. I think they'll likely come down a little bit, but I doubt that 2024 is going to be a year where interest rates are just going to drop and the, the real estate market is just going to dive off again. So. Uh, that's what I think is going to happen in 2024. Let's, um, revisit this, this time next year to see if I'm right or I'm wrong. So I hope you guys are doing well. If there's anything I can do for you, let me know until next time. Take care.